Hey everybody, welcome to Mortgage Today for Wednesday, September 27th, 2023. And oh, what a day it was. MBS were down 17 basis points on the open. Again, S&P futures were up 15.25, so at least something was winning. Much like yesterday, bonds were stronger in the overnight session as European investors have been willing to buy the ceiling in EU bond yields. A smattering of slightly weaker economic reports helped the cause. Economic data is out in the US as well, but it's not having the same logical impact as normal. Bonds have actually improved slightly since the durable goods data came out. Uh, what's up with that? The shortest, simplest answer is that this report hasn't been a reliable and potent market mover lately. So durable goods came in at 0.2 on a negative 0.54 forecast. It was negative 5.6 previously, so a pretty big improvement. But it was mostly based on defense spending. Non-defense, excluding aircraft, came in at 0.9 on a flat estimate. It was negative 0.4 previously. But it's still positive for the economy me, which is negative for inflation. Minneapolis Fed President Neil Kashkari said that the government shutdown drawn out strike with the UAW could act to lower inflation and reduce the need for the Fed to hike further. The Senate advanced legislation that could help prevent the government shutdown. However, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is still dealing with members who want increased funding for the border. Another major sticking point is funding for Ukraine. We've been here before and we'll be here again, but each time feels like a surprising new twist on what we think we know about the bond market motivations. The key word is repricing, and we're not talking about lender rate sheets. In this context, repricing refers to a broad understanding among certain market participants that rates need to move higher than they are reasonably able to move in one trading day. This results in seemingly paradoxical weakness that's not obviously connected to data or events in a timely way. Granted, data and events can help explain the weakness, but only in hindsight. In other words, this is the type of selling momentum that sends analysts looking for explanations as opposed to the type that follows logically from new developments in data. BS closed the day down 34 basis points on the 6% coupon, ending at 98.41. 98.41, that puts us in the upper end of this wide range bounded by the 25-day moving average on the top at 98.672 and a floor all the way down at 98.804 that none of us want to test. We also got news that the U.S. Federal Trade Commission along with 17 state attorney generals have sued Amazon yesterday alleging the $1.3 trillion e-commerce giant violated antitrust laws by inflating prices, overcharging sellers, and stifling competition.